Hello, DC fans. Welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James. Thanks for joining us, and a big thank you to all of our new subscribers over the last little while. If you are new to the channel, be sure to give us a subscribe. We have fun talking all sorts of superhero stuff here. But I specifically love talking about the Snyderverse. Are we going to see it restored? Can it be restored? Well, since the big day on Friday, lots of little tidbits have been dropping everywhere. And today we got to talk a little bit about the Green Lantern. Of course, Wayne T. Carr posted this beautiful picture right here. Wayne T. Carr in his full Green Lantern glory. Look at that pitch perfect design. Would have been phenomenal in the film. Obviously WB nixed this. We got Martian Manhunter instead and for me no problem. Love Martian Manhunter. Love him in that scene. Good to go. But this is intriguing to me. Wayne T. Carr posts this on a, the one year anniversary of the Snyder Cut dropping on HBO Max. He's allowed to post it. People are saying he would only be allowed to post it if WB gave him permission. Yada yada yada. Sure. Whatever. Perhaps that's how it works. We don't know. Things are happening behind the scenes. I reported earlier that Nick Santos from the Hashtag Show was going to have a story for everyone, a DC related Snyderverse story for everyone this week. However, it seems he is on a bit of a hiatus. We'll be taking the next couple of weeks off, but he promises when he returns the first thing on his agenda is to release his DC story, which looks to be meaty and juicy. Cannot wait to see what he clues us in on there, what his inside information has. However, let's look at this. Little tidbits are dropping about Green Lantern. Obviously, Wayne T. Carr. Obviously, Wayne T. Carr last week was the first nugget to drop. But one thing that kind of irritated a lot of Snyder fans were these images from Boss Logic. Boom, 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 boom. Right here, you see them all. He had various actors portraying Green Lantern. None of them Wayne T. Carr, which really upset people. But he also captions all of them with for no reason. No reason. Just no reason. I just did this for fun. No reason. Okay, sure. I don't believe you. There's always a reason. And, my, and I believe these are just him having fun with these actors in, in this role of the Green Lantern. But I also believe as an artist, you get inspiration from things. And he's in the know. Boss Logic, he's, he claims that all, you know, it, this is just between him and his team, yada, yada, yada. And that's fine. And I, actually, I do believe that. But at the same time, He's in the know. He knows, he hears things that are going on. He has insider information. He has meetings. He did the Spider-Man stuff, all of this fun stuff. He's in the know. He hears things. And if someone mentions, hey, Green Lantern, blah, 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 he probably sparks some creativity in his head and he's got to go home and draw it down and Photoshop it and paint it up and put it on display for all of us to see. And even though it has, you know, what he's doing has nothing to do with what's happening for real with Green Lantern, it's all created based on what he has been hearing regarding green lantern so that is something that i really think has some plausibility to it in regards of why he did this these actors that he has drawn up here as green lantern they're not that's not factual but green lantern motion is in motion green lantern is in motion there is stuff happening with green lantern obviously hbo max green lantern corpse is a show it's coming some point uh recently actor finn witchrock who's going to be playing guy gardner in the series interviewed and he said the following i am sworn to secrecy and especially since i am new to the dcu i don't want them to kick me out of the universe but i can tell you that the script is great and that i'm just starting to get into guy gardner's shape the one thing that's curious about this green lantern show is not I me mean, not curious but in terms of the snyderverse is that it takes place all over various time periods and there are multiple Green Lanterns, as we all know. And so while this show might not deal with Wayne T. Carr's version of the Green Lantern, that Green Lantern, based on everything that is happening, may actually appear on this series. And that Green Lantern may be what ties this all in to the Snyderverse. Everything, there seems to be a connective tissue and word is still that they know what they're doing. And if they know what they're doing and they're allowing Wayne T. Carr to do this and Snyderverse is being restored, this is a perfect way to bring it all together. And if you don't believe the Snyderverse is being restored, that's fine. But also, I want you to look at Clay Staub, who was an assistant director on Batman v Superman and has worked with Zack Snyder. And he has been tweeting out for the Snyderverse the whole time. And take a look at this Excalibur. This picture from Excalibur with the word faith written right over it. And when you enhance on that and you illuminate it, restore the Snyderverse right there. And he's not trying to hide it. He even tweeted to somebody. It's been there all along. It just needed to be illuminated illuminated such a precise word to use and obviously here your words ring true thank you we need to fix one of your images there's no josh whedon color influences used here on my account hopefully this will help and of course he puts in 
the Trinity, all the way to the Justice League. The Fellowship was a brief beginning, a fair time that cannot be forgotten. And because it will not be forgotten, that fair time may come again. Now once more I must ride with knights to defend what was and the dream of what could be. You start putting all of these pieces together, things are looking hopeful. It's looking hopeful that Wayne T. Carr's Green Lantern is going to make an appearance, whether it's on the HBO Max show or not. I believe, I, I, I think that we might get something. Maybe, not right away, but at some point down the line, those worlds are going to collide, and this Green Lantern could be the key to the Green Lantern from the Snyderverse returning and entering our world. We gotta wait to see what the Flash does. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is the Green Lantern the first step in the resurrection of the Snyderverse? Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.